Also, it's the first major domestic soccer occasion since the sad events of Hillsborough. John Motson is our commentator. The team's welcomed by a Wembley crowd, 75% of whom are seated, with the other 25% standing behind fences, which in the past few days have been modified so that they are instantly demountable in an emergency. And with the horror of Hillsborough still very much in mind, a minute's silence in memory of 95 people who a week last Saturday set out to watch a football match and never came home. team shows just one change from that which won in Albania seven weeks ago. Peter Beardsley replaces John Barnes, the reasons for which are well known, and that means that number 11 Chris Waddle switches from the middle to play mainly on the left. Albania have made three changes. Number three, Bubeki, is in fact a striker who replaces the injured Minga. Number 10, Hassan Papa, wins his first cap in midfield. And the pre-match publicity has surrounded goalkeeper Blendi Nalbani, who only celebrated his 17th birthday earlier this month and now wins his first cap in a World Cup match at Wembley. And his opposite number, Peter Shilton, was part of a World Cup squad before Nalbani was born. It's his 105th cap tonight and he also equals the record of 49 senior appearances at Wembley set by Bobby Charlton. Last night at Ipswich, the Albanian under-21 team lost 2-0 to England and they're now among the spectators, along with about 150 exiled Albanians who live in England. The England players are wearing black armbands tonight. It's not an Albanian custom, but the presentation of the bouquet of flowers is part of their expression of condolences. And I understand that uh, others have been handed over too. The England substitutes tonight are Chris Woods, Paul Parker, Steve Hodge, Paul Gascoigne and Alan Smith. The officials tonight come from Norway and there's the man in charge, Einar Haller. So this World Cup match starts. England obviously needing to win and if possible by a good margin. Here's Chris Waddle. And here's Roe Castle finding Gary Lineker and the young goalkeeper will be pleased to get the ball early he told me through an interpreter last night that uh, his love outside football is pop music he's a fan of Duran Duran but more poignantly at this time he also from Albania follows the fortunes of Liverpool Bubeki Pierce again Beardsley had pulled wide there's Waddle and the first corner for England Terry Butcher has made his way forward the near post a goal kick's been given it's uh, Beardsley swung the corner in to test the youngster it's a real test of nerve for him Gager. Oh, well played Beardsley. Robson. Waddle. 
free kick was given Waddle again oh what a chance for England to take the lead Gary Lineker has got the goal that he's waited for for so long nearly a year in fact for England and it was presented to him by a really bad defensive mistake Lineker's international drought is over Waddle's cross Yera with the header and Lineker just had to nod that past a stranded goalkeeper after five minutes and the left back will have nightmares about this he headed the ball back into Lineker's path and the 17 year old keeper had no chance now Demolari. He's a good little player on the ball. Well played by Walker, combining with his Forest colleagues, Pearson then Webb. Now Robson. And it's Waddle again. Had a really good start, Chris Waddle, to this match. Stevens. In goes Lineker again. Well taken. Now Shehu's made a run and Peter Shilton having a few words with his central defenders. Now Waddle switched to the right. He was given license to move across the line from the left tonight. Rowcastle. Rowcastle again. Waddle. Well, Chris Waddle played a part, certainly, in that opening goal. He chipped the ball in with his left foot. It was a teasing cross, but a more experienced defender, well, he was under challenge from Rowcastle, and he put the ball into the path of the grateful Lineker. Lineker again, he's away. Beardsley in the middle. Beardsley, surely, two. wanted a goal for very different reasons is the scorer of England's second and this time Lineker the provider pulling right shaking off the challenge of Geiger there was only Beardsley waiting at this point and that's who Lineker found defenders all over the place England 2 Albania nil. what a flying start for England well, they're already further ahead than uh, Poland finished against uh, Albania, and that is important. The second one goes in after 13 minutes. <laughs> Fouled by Bubeki. Well, we won 2-0 in Albania, and we're now 2-0 up in less than a quarter of an hour in the return. Oh, he's away. Lineker's up with him. And Terry Butch has made a run on this side of the field. Lineker in the centre waiting for the cross. Oh, well done, the keeper. Well, he's done nothing wrong, uh, Nalbani. He had very little chance with either goal. Gary Lineker was the architect of the second. He really made strides down the right. He saw where Beardsley was, and Beardsley had sensibly pulled away from the three defenders, giving himself time and room to place his shot. Stevens. Rowcastle. Robson. Robson floats one. Beardsley can't get to the ball quick enough. He's gone scampering across to take the corner. Demolari. A 
Now they've got a runner on this side of the field. It's uh, Milo in space. Demolari Sheu. There's some space there. This is Butcher. 